Why is my chilli plant not growing and why is the leaf curling? We get asked this question all the time and it's not just one simple answer, there's many different reasons why. Now in today's video we will try to answer some of those questions. Uh, we will talk about uh, growth stunt, we will talk about uh, neutral locking or sometimes known as neutral lock and we will talk about how to treat and prevent diseases and aphid attacks. I'll be giving you a bonus tip on how to get more chilies from your chili plant. Hello and Asalaamu Alaikum. If you're new to our channel, I'm Akib Ullah. I'm Ali Raja. Asalaamu Alaikum. Without further ado, Dad, let's start gardening. Let's start gardening. There are four main factors for the growth of your chili plant. Water, light, heat and nutrition, plant food. That the growth on your chili plant is normally very slow if you're growing them in a colder climate such as UK, USA and the Canada. This is why we tend to start our chili plant indoors early mid midwinter so that we can uh, extend our growing season. Chili plant leaves works like a mini satellite. It communicates with you. By looking at your chili plant you can tell whether your chili plant is healthy, happy or your chili plant is unhealthy or unhappy. Most of us, when we see our chili plant not growing as fast as we expect them to grow, we tend to use too much water and we tend to put, uh, give them too much uh, of plant food and it has the opposite effect. Using too much water on your chili plant, it actually um, it doesn't grow fast. It actually drowns the root and it, the plant loses the ability to take up nutrient. Therefore, your chili plant doesn't grow as fast. Most of us, we tend to over fertilize our plant when we see our plant is not growing as fast as we expect them to grow. When you, when you use too much fertilizer, it doesn't really help. It, it actually makes the matter worse. Now, if you're over fertilizing, you could see visible signs on the leaves. Uh, you will see the leaves are wrinkling, curling, and you will see the tip of the leaves uh, getting brown. That's when you know you're, you're, you're over fertilizing your chili plant and you'll find your chili plant won't grow fast. You will actually go into something called nutrient lock or nutrient burn. So when you see the leaves are wrinkling and curling and the tip of the leaf is going brown, you are definitely over fertilizing your plants. If you have been over fertilizing your chili plant or over watering, and it has gone into neutron lock or growth stunt. This is how you can fix it. This is how I fix um, growth stunt and um, neutron lock. Take the plant out of this container, take the root ball out. Take the root ball out. So remove all this soil. So remove all the soil. And wash it with clean water. So wash out all the soil so it looks nice and clean. Just like this. Once you have removed the plant from the container and washed out all the soil from the root ball, now we need to replant this chili plant into a new container with new soil in it.
Now water the plant. Hopefully after a few weeks your chili plant will come out of growth stand and neutron lock and the leaves you will start forming new leaves and um, at this stage you could cut off those old horrible looking leaves off. Now I'll also remove this one. And I'll also remove this one. Now, hopefully, in a few, few more weeks' time, this would be a large plant and will give you produce lots, lots of chilies. One of the main problem growing chili peppers is to deal with pest and aphid attacks. So, therefore, knowing how to get rid of pest and aphid you'll be more successful in growing chilies. Aphids are sap-sucking small insects. They thrive on your chili plant. If the aphids survive by feeding on the sap and the sugar from the leaves. So they suck out all the saps and sugar out of the leaves. Therefore your chili leaves will start wrinkling and getting curly. They, they're very tiny so they like to hide under the leaves. Check, their, check under their leaves to see if you see any insects or aphids on them. To get rid of uh, aphid from your chili plant, you could make your own spray by, by using washing up liquid and uh, neem oil. Or you could get a commercial product such as Smart Bug Killer, which is very effective uh, and protects your plant for up to eight weeks. If you want to make your own um, spray, get a spray bottle and uh, add some uh, a liter of water. Add one, te one teaspoon of uh, washing up liquid and one teaspoon of neem oil. Shake it well and spray thoroughly onto the uh, every leaves of the plant and the stem. And uh, hopefully that should get rid of it. But organically it takes a little time. It doesn't get fully get rid of it. So I find um, the bugs are getting much more smarter now. So. If you want to use the organic way, it will take you a little longer. Uh, it works 50% of the time, the other 50% doesn't work. Or you could use um, a smart bug killer. If you want to purchase a neem oil or a smart bug killer, I would leave the link in the description down below. You could buy both from the Amazon. Now that we know how to keep our chili plants healthy, let me give you a tip on how to get more chilies from your chili plant by pruning the growth stem. By pruning your chili plant, you promote side stems and therefore you get more fruits instead of having one lanky stem with less fruit. This is the main stem that is coming out the ground. As you can see, it doesn't have any side stems. To promote side stems, we're going to be trimming the growth stem, which is right above here. Get a sharp scissor and hold the grow stem by its leaves. I'm going to be cutting the grow stem at an angle above these large leaves. Don't be scared guys, it's going to do more good than harm. There we go guys, we have pruned the grow stem. This is one of the plants that we have pruned last week and I could see it has produced quite a lot of side stems. This plant is going to be bushier and is going to produce more chilies, more fruits. Let's give you a quick update on our other plants. This year we're trying something different. We're growing some of our chili plants in a grow bag. These are made from breathable, non-woven fabric. The idea behind it is so it doesn't heat up. But these plastic containers on a hot day they heat up really quickly and they stress the plants. This year we're growing a lot of chilies, potatoes, tomatoes, cucumbers in these grow bags. I'm hoping the plants will do better in these grow bags than in a plastic container. Guys, if you want to give these grow bags a try, we'll leave the Amazon link in the description down below. They're not very expensive and I'm sure you'll do very well growing in these grow bags. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have, give us a thumbs up. 
and don't forget to share our videos as you know sharing is caring if you haven't subscribed to our channel do something amazing and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time we upload and don't forget to follow us on instagram we'll leave the link in the description down below stay safe assalamu alaikum and until then i'll see you in the next one happy gardening assalamu alaikum and i'll see you in the next one